Hello everyone, so I thought I'd do a quick little video on photographing the moon. Just sitting here looking up, I've just done a bit of deep sky astrophotography. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, double up and uh, get this 99% illuminated moon that we've got out. So you're welcome to join me. What I'll do is I'll just take you through the uh, settings that I'm going to use and uh, we'll go from there. So the equipment I'm using, I'm uh, going to be using uh, this box standard Canon 200D to basic beginners level DSLR, some modified, uh, no filter, um, and I'm going to be using my William Optics and the Star 61, a 61mm refractor. It's actually mounted on my Skywatcher Star Venture Pro, it was already on there, ready to go. So I've just left it as, you actually don't need a track amount to do what I'm about to do. Now the settings that I'm going to be using, I'm going to start off with ISO 100 and a shutter speed of 1 100th of a second. And then I'll just probably just shimmy it around, adjust it, see how I feel. What I'll do is once I'm happy with the settings that I'm using, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what I've used. There I say this, um, I've come up with an idea. Um, I've actually got one of these, which is a times two teleconverter. And what this does is, if you're not familiar with it, it's fit in between the camera and the optics, or in this case, it's the telescope or if you're using a camera lens it would be that and what it does is it doubles the focal length now at a sacrifice of say contrast and some detail so I'm not a big fan of them but I'm going to see what happens anyway I mean what's the worst could happen so I'm going to crack on here I'm going to take about maybe 50 60 exposures one without the teleconverter and one with the teleconverter. I'll show you the differences in the focal lengths in a second. All right, so all done here, uh, didn't take long at all. Uh, so I eventually went with one two fiftieth of a second and I saw 100 with the teleconverter on and with the teleconverter off, I went with one four hundredth of a second, uh, same ISO setting. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna pack up and in the morning I'll process them and uh, I'm gonna crop them uh, roughly the same size do a few slight uh, adjustments in Photoshop. Nothing major, just maybe a little bit of noise reduction. I don't think there's going to be much noise in them anyway. And just fiddle around with the highlights and exposure levels. And I'll share the images at the end of this video. So, hope you've enjoyed this. A uh, very quick video. And on that note, take care everyone, clear skies, and bye for now.